Good morning. Welcome back to our botany block. Today we are going to talk about seeds and I'm going to share some interesting facts about seeds. Seeds usually have a hard shell on the outside that protects the seed from getting bashed around <clears throat> and spilling the contents of what's inside the seed. Now this particular one has been roasted and when it gets roasted, it pops open like this. That's not very useful if you're a seed. It is very useful if you're a human because you're going to open up this seed and discover what is inside that nice hard shell, but a pistachio heart, the nut meat that is inside of the pistachio. It's got a little bit of a fibery uh, bit that we can pull off right here. There's this little thin membrane on the outside and inside that thin membrane is this dark, rich, green nut that is super high in fat. It's got a little bit of protein and just a little bit of fiber for starch, for that carbohydrate. Um, so there you have it. Why do humans like these um, seeds to eat these particular nuts? Well, because I think they're delicious. A lot of people think they're delicious and they give us energy. The thing that's getting stored inside this seed is energy. The fat that's inside this pistachio was actually designed um, by the pistachio plant, the mama, so that it could grow another pistachio tree nearby. It had a nice hard outer layer. Unfortunately for this particular one, um, it got harvested and then roasted and salted and it's this delicious thing that um, looks good to eat. So why do I have an egg here in the middle of these seeds? Well, an egg is kind of like a seed. Um, and a seed is kind of like an egg. They both start with that ovary. And I'm going to just pop this open real quick. We're gonna see that this has a hard outer shell just like the pistachio did. And what is inside? Well, let's pop it open and see. And... Did I manage to do it with getting this stuff everywhere? I did, all right, trying to do this one-handed. Um, oh man. All right, it's a little bit gloppy, but what I have here inside of this egg is I have this white and this yellow. And what would happen the same way in an animal as it would in a plant is that a thing is going to start to grow. And the reason I use this egg as an example is because usually if I didn't smash it, it's super obvious. This yellow part is the thing that's gonna become a chicken. And what is it gonna do? It's gonna eat the white part. So as this yellow thing potentially grew up to become a baby chick, it would start to consume the stuff that's on the white. If the mama sat on the egg for a while and it had the right growing conditions, then this would start to eat this and become a little chick that was inside the egg and when it was ready, it would bust out and become a baby chick. Now, if we look in here, we see some things that contain seeds, but on the outside is a fruit. This particular jar contains olives. An olive is basically a fruit that's around a seed. There's a hard seed that humans can't chew. There's nothing that we can do with that. So we might eat the olive, pick up the seed, and when we're done with the seed, we might toss it into the bushes. And what's gonna happen? Well, it might grow an olive tree. So that is the strategy that olives are using to try to get their seeds into the ground. We're gonna go pick a bunch of olives, eat those olives, and then toss those seeds into the ground, um, depending on the type of olive. Some of them are very bitter, and you might have to brine them first, or you might press them into olive oil. But we're gonna take all these olive pits, the seeds, and we're gonna put them in the ground and make more trees. Same thing with cherries. These things, depending on the type, are usually delicious right off the tree. You eat the cherry, uh, most people spit out the pits. Some people swallow the pits. If you swallow the pits, you take those pits with you and then you go poop them out because your body can't digest the pit. It's too hard. The outer hard coating, like the shell of the egg, or like the shell of this pistachio, that shell on the outside of the cherry seed, the cherry pit, 
is so hard that we can't digest it. So even if you eat it, you're gonna end up pooping it out and maybe your poop will go into the ground, like we would dig a hole because poop is kind of stinky and nobody wants to step in it. And then you bury it. And then what do you know? Maybe a cherry tree grows out of that thing. And that's the cherry's way of trying to get a cherry tree planted to, to replicate itself. And what you're also gonna deal with is, um, you know, you might get a whole mouthful of cherries and you know, you might just have a whole mouthful of pits and just spit all those, those uh, seeds out into, uh, you wouldn't want them on the pathway where you're walking because you don't want to step on them. So you're gonna, you're gonna spit them out into probably some land that might even grow some more cherry trees. So that's how the cherry trees are trying to replicate themselves. And similarly, like with a lot of these fruits, you have something like the avocado. Now the avocado, some people find very delicious. I like avocados. You can cut them open and you get that uh, green flesh from the avocado. And then when it's done, you have this incredibly hard seed. Now this particular seed I've been growing for two weeks in water. And I wanted to show you what is inside this seed. Well, I was growing it for two weeks in water. And what do you know? It split itself open and you can see the very beginning of a tiny little baby avocado tree in the center of this seed. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it back in water. I didn't submerge it all the way in water. I filled up this little thing and I put it somewhat in water and I'm gonna take this little avocado tree, this little baby, I'll take it over here and I will set it down and let it keep growing. Also, now this is a really, really, really big one. This coconut is a seed. They actually are even bigger than this. This one has been prepared for um, use in a store for sale um, because they get even bigger than this and they're very roly. When coconuts first come off a tree, it's this big green oval, sometimes almost a circle, and the things roll all around. So to keep them upright in stores, they cut a nice flat bottom out of the husk and they cut this pretty little uh, top out of the husk. But you know what? This isn't even the hard part on the outside. Once you shave this husk off, for anybody who's shaved off the husk of a coconut or seen them at stores, you find that once you get past this super, super, super tall, um, thick, wide husk, inside you're gonna find, again, a hard shell. And then inside that hard shell, when you split it open, you'll find a few different things. With a young coconut like this, you're gonna find mostly a sugary water and maybe just a little bit of a, a thick white meat um, that has a lot of fat content in it. And it tastes a little bit sweet, but it's more rich and savory. That's because this is a young coconut. Um, as these coconuts start to mature, they start to get um, harder and fatter on the inside and it eats the water from the inside out. Kind of like the yellow part of this egg started to eat the white the coconut is like the opposite. It's got this hard shell, and then it's got this thick, harder part that develops on the outside and starts to go in, 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 until it's a completely dense thing. And here's an interesting fact. If you find a coconut that is just about to go to seed and become a tree, you can actually split the thing open and eat that first part of a coconut tree. And it tastes a little bit like sweet styrofoam, and it's filled with fat, and it's one of the healthiest things that you can eat. Um, but it's really rare. It's really hard to find something like that. Now, why do you think it has such a thick husk on the outside of the coconut? Well, I'll give you a moment to think about it. This thing has to survive. They want that seed inside to survive. And the coconut is gonna come from all the way at the top of the tree, way up here at the top of a palm tree. These cluster of coconuts are gonna grow. And when it's ready to have babies, the thing is gonna go bloop, shh fall down 10, 20, 30, 40 feet, however tall that coconut palm is, it's going to have to survive that fall. So it tries to create a thing that can survive that fall. Another cool fact about coconuts is that they can float. So not only can it survive the fall from about 30 or 40 feet, which is rare for a fruit, but um, then it can also float in the ocean. It could float onto the next island. And you know what? By then, perhaps the inside is ready to bust on out. That inside has been growing and growing and growing and growing and getting more and more dense. And then it might plant itself on a neighboring beach on a different island and then pop through. When these things are ready, when these seeds are ready, they pop through the bottom, they pop through the top, 
What's happening out of the bottom is that they're developing a root. The root is going to firmly hold this thing into the soil. And out of the top, they're going to develop a shoot. This is going to become a stem. And there's going to be leaves that pop out of the top of the seed. So interestingly enough, I wanted to talk to you about squirrels and acorns because squirrels are funny little creatures. They're basically like rats that are super cute. And so we think of them as cute animals or many of us think of them as cute animals. I know I do, but basically they're just super bushy tailed rats and they like to collect acorns. They'll collect about anything. They can live perfectly happily. They can live fine lives without acorns. But actually, uh, oak trees depend on squirrels to bury these acorns because squirrels depend on oak trees to have their food in the winter because the acorn, they can store this acorn uh, in the ground. They'll go bury the acorn in the ground somewhere and they'll collect hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of acorns. And what do they do? They go around burying these acorns and burying these acorns because the acorns are, have a really strong outer shell. They can survive that freezing cold of winter. So come winter, when the squirrels are really hungry, what do they do? They go around looking for all those acorns that they buried. Now the thing about squirrels, and really most people living in the wild, if you buried a bunch of acorns in hundreds of different places, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to forget where you put your acorns. And so then what's going to happen is you are going to um, not collect those acorns. And come springtime, the ground is going to get warmer, the snow is going to melt and thaw and uh, the temperatures are gonna rise. And when the temperatures arise, here's what seeds do. They feel that warmth of the soil and they feel the sun beating down on the soil. And they just know, their plant instincts know that it's time for them to break on out of the ground. And so they start to grow. And what the plant seed needs is a little bit of food. And so inside of the seed, there's usually a seed and then what we call a seed. And inside the thing that we call the seed, um, there's a whole bunch of parts. But the real seed is inside the thing that we call the seed. And it eats all of the whatever is in there um, to become a seed. For instance, if we look over here, like with a macadamia nut, these things are filled with fat. Really good, healthy fat. And so what people like to do is break open that hard coating and get the fatty seeds, roast them, salt them, eat them. These things are amazing. But what the macadamia nuts do to grow is that the little seed that's inside of this macadamia nut, which, you know, we could call that a seed, but really the seed is inside of that nut. It's going to eat all of that fat and that fat is gonna become a food for the seed. So the seed sits there eating all of the fat inside the hard shell. And when it's ready to break on out, that really, 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 really strong plant will smash through the hard shell, even the hard shell of a, of a macadamia nut or of a coconut. It's going to smash through that thing. It's going to grow roots out the bottom and it's going to grow a little shoot out the top. It's going to grow leaves. It's going to get that stem and it's going to create a tree. Now, I mean, a coconut's a pretty big seed, but a huge palm tree actually comes from this small coconut, which is small in comparison to a huge palm tree. A huge macadamia nut uh, tree is gonna come from one tiny little macadamia nut seed that's inside the macadamia nut. Um, so it just needs to eat that stuff that's out there. And we will find out more about this stuff tomorrow. Thank you for bearing with me and have an amazing, wonderful day.